Hi, I'm Mike Barnes, and I'm here with uh, Lincoln, and uh, we're going to talk about the InfoPad. The InfoPad uh, was announced uh, probably, la I think, about last November, yeah. and uh, we've been doing a lot of work on it, and uh, you have it here to see, and we have uh, both Windows XP right here, as well as uh, uh, we, we have, uh, what is this, uh, uh, Ubuntu? Ubuntu, yeah. Ubuntu. So it's the same Ubuntu that we've been working on uh, recently. So anyway, uh, you want to demonstrate the touchscreen working, on, first of all, on the uh, uh, on the um, Ubuntu. Ubuntu on, on Linux. Okay, this is uh, Ubuntu 9.04. Okay. With touch screen. With touch screen. Yeah. We have here. I can open my documents folder from here. Okay. Yeah. I can close here. And I assume you have a, uh, a virtual keyboard? Yes, you have a virtual keyboard. You go to accessories, you see keyboard here. Okay. Then it comes up with a virtual keyboard. So right. you can use your terminal with the keyboard, or you can type do every other thing with the keyboard. This is the keyboard. This is the virtual keyboard running on the terminal console. Okay, so uh, I, I think our people should know pretty much what Ubuntu is like right now. So uh, anyway, uh, people can develop their own applications or use web-based applications uh, with Ubuntu. Yeah. And then we also have Windows XP running over here. Yeah, this is Windows XP. Yes. And uh, you have a touch screen working also here. You have your, this is the touch configuration program. Okay. So you can do your calibration here. And even also, just a minute, going back to Ubuntu, this is your calibration tool also that allows you to calibrate the screen if you ever have any problem. So it's as simple as that. Your calibration is done. Okay. So you have a similar thing for Windows. For Windows XP also. You can do your touch setting, calibration, everything from here. So this device is not really similar to the... Uh iPad uh, because this is more of a PC type device, right? Yes, yes. So it runs in a host-based USB. You could hook up a camera or other devices like a scanner to it. So, yeah. so if somebody wanted to develop a point-of-sale application with a printer and uh, and 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 uh, other devices, yeah. this would probably make a, a more sense, right? Yes, you are very right. Yes, and this is uh, like the uh, EduBook. It's also fanless. Yes. And can we show the width of the machine? It's a little thicker than the iPad, but. Uh, uh, considering that, uh, okay, so this is the thickness? Yes. All right, and uh, on the back show that there's no uh, heat sink? No heat sink. And we have speakers and microphone built in. Yes. This has a VGA out, yeah. uh, has uh, audio in, it has three external three USBs. USB ports. Uh, yeah. Wi-Fi is built in. Yes. And uh, uh, we, there was some discussion of how we would make the case. The original case was a little bit heavier. This is still metal. Uh, so our idea here is, is that this can be used for industrial applications uh, running uh, Windows or, or Linux or web-based applications. Yeah. It uses AA batteries, so it's easy to keep on the field, uh, uh, very inexpensive to replace. It also uses our modular X-Core 86 CPU, yeah. which uh, can uh, be upgraded to faster CPUs with more memory as they become available. Yeah. It also has our bright uh, 400 nit uh, screen, which uh, we've shown in other uh, videos is about as bright as your MacBook. Yes, exactly. You're right. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry you had to spend that much money. So the price, <laughs> the price is still two ninety nine ninety five, which makes it uh, probably the lowest priced uh, uh, PC based uh, uh, touch uh, tablet device on the market. I would assume. Okay. Yeah. And that's that's uh, of course with Ubuntu. We've got. Uh, I didn't. We're not showing here, but you you could basically work, run this with other Linuxes as well. Yes. Uh, what OS you've done? Yeah, we have uh, what OS running also on another SD card from this unit. Oh, and so uh, so you could load up uh, two operating systems on the same machine. Exactly. And you could uh, dual boot. Exactly. So you can have Windows XP. Yes. Windows CE. Yeah. Now what we hope is is that people will uh, buy these devices and and work to get Android and Mego and other touch-based okay, operating okay. systems. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the real advantage to this device is that. Uh, the, the uh, applications are just like installing on a PC. It's not, you don't have to go through a Android store, store or iTunes store. store or no, 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 you can, this is your, your device. You can install whatever x86 operating system that you want. Yeah. It's ultra low cost. Uh, this could be configured uh, in key, as a kiosk in a case. Yeah. Uh, we can also uh, put this in automobiles. Yes. Uh, we can set it up as a panel PC or as a, a battery operated uh, web pad. And one more thing. Show them that uh, we, we don't have, need an adapter on this, right? Yes, we don't. Where's the, oh, here. Yeah. Standard uh, plug, just like uh, 
uh, on the, uh, on the edge of book. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we've been working on this now for several months. Uh, we could have brought it out earlier. Uh, we had no idea that uh, what the iPad was going to be. We weren't competing with the iPad. We had our own idea of a small portable device used uh, primarily for probably uh, uh, commercial applications, but uh, there might be some people who might want to pack this with a, a, key, a portable keyboard mm -hmm. and, and have this configuration rather than a netbook. I mean, if you don't like the netbook uh, keyboard and you want to use a bigger keyboard, this works just fine. Uh, we, have, uh, we can use an external monitor, an uh, external projector with this. Yes. Um, any other features you want to talk about? Uh, I think uh, we've talked most m about most of the features from the Edubook already. Okay. So well, anyway, this is available. You can uh, look at our, our, we have three websites now. Yeah. The first one is uh, nortech.com, which is where you can order product. We have uh, xcore86.com, which is, will give you information on the processor, the modules, boards, and other technical information. And then for software drivers uh, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, support forums, we have www deviceonchip.com. Okay, Lincoln, thank you once again for uh, making this uh, work well.